Well, hello uh, to the world of martial arts TV. Um, this is Andrew Staten, and it's a big hello to Gillian and Michael. Um, what a lovely, lovely picture filmed in St. Keats. You must have had a lovely time. Tell me what you loved about that and why that was chosen. Come on. That was like well, a actually, holiday. It was the <laughs> island of Nevis. So Nevis and St. Kitts are sister islands. It's a little All smaller right. island, but it was beautiful. And it was the absolute workation. Wow. That, if you went to make a film, that was absolutely amazing. Um, oh, so, um, Michael, it, the, the film's sort of like based around you to to a good extent. So let's start with you and then move backwards and forwards. Mm -hmm. So Michael, um, plenty of martial arts in this one. You had the, the great Ron Baliki helping you out. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Well, yeah, it was great to finally work with Ron. I, I've known him for years. And of course he's a student of the great uh, Dan Santo. So it was great to have that pedigree there. Uh, and uh, I mean, you know, we we had a wonderful time. You know, like you say, we we um we we found a, a a a spot to make it very gritty. You know, I think every every time the martial arts or a fight scene should be uh, used, it should just be jarring to wherever the, the you know the the locale is and the style of film. So we came up with that that kind of a uh, gritty, no nonsense, but you know, uh, somewhat technical style. It, it was lovely to see you. So can you explain a little bit about just sort of like, because it's World of Martial Arts TV, what did, what, what did, he, what did Ron bring um, to you? Because you're a well-rounded martial artist. So, you know, what, what did Ron bring to the, those fight scenes that, that you were thought was special? Well, you know, the Filipino style of martial arts. I mean, he's, he's great with the, with the weapons and knives and, you know, the trapping and all that type of stuff. And I, and every time I get a chance to work with a master in his art, I learn more. So that's great. And so it's, I was, you know, it, it's it's almost, it feels like a guilty prep pleasure being a, a, a martial arts nerd and getting a, getting a chance to learn and get paid for it is, is wonderful. <laughs> And, and so you got a little bit of Bruce Lee there in there because it's JKD stuff as well. So mm -hmm. that 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 was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Gillian, um, the first scenes you come in there, you've got some lovely dreadlocks. The absolutely, I don't know what you call them. If the dreadlocks, or you have to yeah, they're just long braids, long braids. <laughs> braids. I, I mean, that was a great, nice, beautiful look for you. Something different. Um, yeah. Where did you find the school? I mean, it looked like an old schoolhouse or church, what for the dojo. What was that? Yeah, it was this beautiful stone. They kind of hold like meetings and stuff there, I believe. And they just created to look like the dojo, but it was it was gorgeous. The the whole backdrop of the the water behind it and the hills. It was um it was great. And I of course I love being a a, a teacher in this one. Yeah, <laughs> <Tell yeah. laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was just absolutely lovely. And uh, uh, what, I've never seen a dojo in such a beautiful, you know, sort of like place. You might know one, but I don't, so. Uh, <laughs> no, I've never seen one like that it's, either. The film is a, it's, it's a real good action stroke, you know, revenge movie uh, and well, well filmed. Um, where did you come, uh, who, how, who got in touch with who to, to sort of like start the ball rolling for such a, a great film, and did you know it was going to be that good? Because Saban didn't Saban used to do Power Rangers? Am I am I just way off the screen there? But didn't Saban used to do Power Rangers be behind all those old um, kids movies, kids martial arts stuff? I, I believe so, but I, I believe they came on as a, a as a distributor, one of the distributors. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, uh, the history of this is that. Um, uh, you know, Philippe Martinez is, is the the producer, the main producer, the main you know Dr. Moreau <laughs> of the island, <laughs> uh, and he, he's a wonderful person. He he basically had this this script done for us, uh, and, and quite flatteringly, he he let me know that he did research on the both of us, and uh, and he asked people about me and what type, what type of people we were and 
and he watched interviews and stuff. And he said, and so he just basically wrote what he saw in my character. Uh, I didn't know this at first when I got the script and you know, we read it and we're like, wow. It sounds this, so much like both of us. Yeah, it's like, wow, <laughs> this is like perfect for us. Yeah. You know, this what a coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> to find out that it's not much of a coincidence, mm -hmm. but he's been a long time producer and director. So he's he's had all the hats and he's also a uh, champion in bringing Hollywood to St. Kitts and Nevis, you know? So that was just a wonderful opportunity. And uh, again, something that's so, so flattering for, to be recognized for not only your talent, but who you are and for somebody to write to those, those things. I mean, you couldn't get more flattering. Gilly, now, how did you feel about it when, when you were sort of like, you know, cause you, you do some, you know, the, the, the thing is that, going way back, I mean, we go back to martial artists and martial artists being actors. You know, you, you, you both are great actors. Um, and I really wish, you know, Hollywood would see it this way a little bit more, but you know, you are great actors and great action scenes. What, what did you feel about the movie to yourself? You know, because you, you have a great scenes. Thank you. Yeah. I, I love the character. I thought she was, um, you know, strong, yet yet vulnerable and of course there's the scenes of course well i don't want to you know <laughs> spoil the movie for anyone but you know the scenes where they have their trauma between them yeah. um which is why they've been estranged for so long and yeah. i liked all the levels i yeah. got to go to um with this character and especially you know i always enjoy getting to beat up a few people <laughs> that's always fun so um what would you say you enjoyed in the in the sort of like in the action scenes? Which I know I want to ask you a specific one, uh, Michael. But which scene did you enjoy or feel feel was the best? And don't say it ended up on the cutting room floor, please. <laughs> no, I mean I, I, for me, I'm. It's hard for me to think about it because I so enjoy the camaraderie with you know the other. Nerds like myself, when I, I, I got a chance to do this, this fight scene at the club where we yeah. had Jay Haran and, and all these guys, you know. And so I, I'm just like, I'm just over the moon. You know, it's it's like being paid to play. Yeah. And it's kind of like we would damn near do this for free, you know. <laughs> it's so much fun. Yeah. And so that just stands out in my, my mind as – just a, a time that uh, I got a, a chance to really uh, just do something with um, the other misfits like myself, you know? Rubbish. They're not misfits, they're great guys. Uh, <laughs> one of those great guys, I want to know how Dwight D. Woods turned up in there. I know Dwight, um, JKD guy, so how did Dwight turn up there? Well, that's a Ron Balicki quest question. Because, I mean, uh, he, he assembled all the guys, yeah. All right, was it? I, I wondered how Ron, because I, I knew Dwight, and I thought, that's Dwight, what's he doing in the movie? You know, yeah. so I, I spot all these little little bits and pieces. Um, Gillian, um, you, you basically um, have a great um, piece, um, you know, carrying the gun and... You know, I, I tell me about I, I'm. You know, I'm rubbish with guns. We don't have many guns over here, or not that I know of. You hold it beautifully. Did you have to go through a certain amount of training for that? No, um, I actually go to the gun range with my husband. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I've learned how to shoot guns and you know do everything the proper way. So it comes across very believable on scene because I actually can do it. <laughs> yeah, she's a natural. It's 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 kind of scary. The first time. <laughs> she started shooting guns and targets. She looked like a professional. Yeah. It was, it was bizarre. I, I thought I'm, I thought it was like, I married a spy. <laughs> I had a secret pass. I never told him about it. I, I, I have video of it. It's incredible. That, that, that feels like another movie coming. I think I feel like another movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think also the one Mr. and Mrs. Yeah, yeah. Mr. and Mrs. White. Exactly. Time, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Um, 
So basically, overall, with the the thing, the one fight that I do like, and I did see Ron bring the knife um, to, um, I can't remember, I know Mr. Rathbone, I know he he brought a knife out, um, which was definitely one of those that I thought, that that's a Ron Baliki knife. Mm-hmm. Um, how did you find that last, sort of like that fight scene? We won't say where it is, but how did you find that fight scene um, when the knife is in front of you? I, yeah. I was worried at that point. <laughs> well, uh, it's um, again. I, I, I call myself a misfit because I'm one of these people who've played with that. You know, we like even in this house, I have probably eight knives that um, that you can train with. That they, if you touch something, it it makes a, a noise and it lights up. So. You you could practice your timing with someone actually trying to to touch you with it. Well, after after a certain point, you know you, you, your confidence gets to where at least you know how to evade uh, should should an accident happen and know your distance. So uh, you know I I wasn't terribly worried and and uh, you know because I mean I've been doing martial arts for a very long time and. Uh, if you can avoid someone punching you, you can definitely avoid a knife because it's it's moving slower than a punch. Yeah, um, just moving off the off piece for just for a minute. You, you you're actually in two more movies together. I presume I know you've been in before, but you've got two up and coming movies: um, Trouble Man and um, Kingdom Business. Is, oh, yeah. is those something to be watched out for? Well, Kingdom Business is a TV show, and it's in its second oh, season, right. and we are hoping for a third season. <laughs> um, Michael plays a music producer, and I play his uh, attorney. Oh, something yeah. different, something different, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, mm-hmm. no, there's no fighting in this. <laughs> right. okay. yeah, I'm, a, I'm a gospel music producer. He's a gospel music producer, and I'm an attorney, yeah, so that's different. No, no fighting in this, yeah. no martial arts. And then, of oh, course, right. The Trouble Man, which uh, we just completed a few months ago. And Mike's um, the director and star. And uh, it's me. And we have a great cast. Yeah, got you know, man, yeah. Mike Epps. Um, uh, you, you, yeah. you've, you've, got, you've got one coming up. Um, one more shot with Scott. Yeah. Um, you know, you've been with Scott so many times. Me and you met in uh, Doncaster um, yes. with Scott, uh, and we we did we did the interview on the stage, um, and we had a blast there. But uh, yeah, another film with Scott. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about what we just a, a snippet about one more shot. Come on, you can tell us. I, I think coincidentally, it comes out today. Oh wow! Wow! Well, I think it. I'm pretty sure. Is it Skyfall. It's sky, 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 da, sky oh, it's on um, Sky something. Skyfall. Oh, sky, sky 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 I think it's something in in, uh, in, in in your your in part Europe, of the yeah world. yeah, yeah uh, the thing that premieres out in your way today, um, but yeah, I mean Scott's my my little brother, you know yeah. I'm so proud of him, uh, you know and uh, you know I I fought really hard to get him on. Uh, Undisputed too, because oh, it. I mean, actually, as you think about it now, the 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 producers were fighting. I mean, there there was another well known actor that they wanted to cast in that, and the director and I fought hard to get this unknown guy named Scott Atkins because he knew how to you know he he could bring some stuff to the to the screen, and luckily we won out on that that argument. So. Personally, every time he Scott does something, I, I I'm I'm so like proud, and I actually thought when he did one shot, I thought that was the best action performance I've ever seen. That is so hard to do, uh, to do a conti- continuous take, like period. But for an entire movie, to make it seamless like that, that is. That is a Herculean task, and I was I was happy to do the sequel. So uh, you know, excellent. Yeah, he's doing his thing. I've got a question before we go back to Ireland. You've got a film coming out um, called Outlaw 
uh, Johnny Black. Mm -hmm. um, is that a kind of a tribute to Fred Williamson or not? Or am I just dreaming on a little? Because I remember Fred doing a film uh, where he was a, a sort of like a, a cowboy um, with the black hat and everything like that. Is that just me dreaming or is it just your own take? Because you did so great in Black Dynamite, you know what I mean? Well, it, 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 this is a tribute to Fred and the entire genre. All uh, right. You, 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 you are really correct because I copied Fred's look. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And uh, and and um, Fred has something to do with the movie. <laughs> oh, good, good. So, so, I love Fred. I love him. Yeah. yeah so, so it, it is an homage to the entire Western genre. It's an homage to black exploitation. Yeah. And it's and it's actually a faith based film that the, uh, a family friendly faith based film that I, I put a lot of uh, you know it's a, it's a funny film, but it's got a lot of messages, and I'm I'm happy that people. Uh, come away with those messages. Well, I can't wait to see it, mate. And I hope we get to to do a, a sort of like an interview about it because it's one of those areas that I absolutely adore. You know, one down, two to go, and all them sort of things. We just I've got them all upstairs, and I you know go through them every so often when I'm that sort of like right. I've got to watch a lot of these movies. You know what I mean? So that's hey, great. You, you, and you're gonna you're gonna be pleased because yeah. you're gonna see homages to Peck and Paul, to to Terrence Hill. To Billy Jack, to a lot oh, of Billy movies. Jack's. Wow. Yes, a yeah, lot of movies. Yeah. And, and, and in the trailer, you could see the homage to Blazing Saddles. Yo. <laughs> the famous <laughs> moment in, in the trailer that you can identify. Just because I always do a spin on this thing, Ireland, if it does well, do you feel as though it's going to go somewhere further? Because there is that opening for something to happen a bit further down the line. What do you feel? I would love that. Yeah, we'd love an <laughs> island part two. <laughs> yeah. Well, if yeah, you think I mean, about the ending, you know, there is that little bit where, you know, certain things are said and it's like, hmm, you know, it, you know, the island might have to defeat itself against something a little bit bigger, you know, so. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, definitely had that ending that leaves a nice opening for something else. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was a, 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 I think it's Nevis. Was it Nevis that you were filming? Yeah. yeah. There was a thing called Nevis Martial Arts. What, 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 what were their connection to you um, in the movie? Was, I'm sorry? Nevis Martial Arts. Was it a school or um, a something or other that helped you out? It, it's credited at the end at Nevis Martial Arts. I don't, I, don't, I just well, yeah, they were actual, the kids. yeah, yeah, the actual Nevis, the, the Martial arts students in need. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, okay. All right. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, she, she okay. was teaching. Remember the kids I was teaching in the dojo. They were actual oh, right. martial yeah, arts. Yeah, they students. were kids that were actual students. All oh, right, right. Yeah. So uh, that's 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 fantastic. I just yeah. you know, so maybe it, was it a school that sort of like you accommodated, you know, and said, "All oh, right, we, yeah. can you come and help us out?" You know, because some when they do martial arts movies, you know, they go, "Who can do martial arts around here?" You know, let's let's yeah. let's go for it. And, uh, well, you're in the movie now, you know. So yeah, you know, I, I love it. I, I you know, I came back and I did a <laughs> seminar for for the school as well. So, oh you know, wow, I bet they were over the moon about that. Oh yeah, both of us. I mean, I I really enjoy that. So so have you got now? Got the keys to uh, Nevis now? Are, are you allowed to go back at any time and you get a free holiday or something like that? <laughs> yeah, that that would not be a bad idea. Yeah, we can use one right now. We sure could. <laughs> it's cold here. <laughs> is it, oh, is it cold? It's oh, actually gosh, cold. It's There's so... thirty something. This well. When we I took to, the kids to so school. So zero. I guess that's zero. It was 38 uh -huh. degrees. Yeah, that's... So is that Fahrenheit. eight? Yeah, it's is Fahrenheit. That, Fahrenheit. Yeah, yeah, but for them, I believe it's... Like oh, Celsius. Close to zero. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it is a bit cold. We're, we're expecting snow here on Tuesday, so there we go. Okay. So. See, we're, we're, we're from L.A. I mean, we're oh, not no. from L.A., but we live in L.A., and we're used to nice, warm temperatures all year long. Spoiled. So 38 degrees is cold to us. We're very spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Well, I shall, when I'm in LA, I shall come and look for you, you see. So there we go. <laughs> um, right, I think I'm near my time's nearly up. So uh, just to sort of like a, a round up things, 
where do you feel as you're going from here? Have you got anything planned? Nice to see that you've got your own production going, uh, Michael. And yeah, Gillian, you're involved. I don't think you would not be involved. So how, how do you feel as though, where's, where's your direction now? Where do you feel as though you wish to expand? Well, we, we have some great things on the horizon. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're very excited about uh, some, some new things. We have a, a romantic comedy that we're getting together. Wow. Um, is that, you know, that we're finally going get, yeah. to get done. Uh, and, um, you know, we're producing things, and there's some some really cool stuff for her. There's a, a, a potential TV series that, that uh, action TV series that she's primed for. So yeah, we're 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 excited and we're just moving things along. You know what people would love to see though, don't you? They'd love to see you do Blood and Bone too, wouldn't they? You know. I'd love yes. to do that too. Yeah. It's been written. Mm -hmm. It's been written. We all, we nearly did it a while a while ago. Um that is something that I'm thinking about. And uh, uh, the writer, the head writer and I, you know, the uh Mike Michael Andrews who wrote the script. Uh, we we've been talking about possible series, you know, based based on that character. Yeah. Okay, then that's me finished. So thank you very much. Hope to speak to you soon. And what a fantastic movie! Thank you for thank sharing. You. Thank, thank you so much. See you. Bye. Bye bye.